Hello everyone! Take a look at these beautiful tomato plants. They're just begging to be cloned. And so I did. In this video, I'll show you the results of an experiment I conducted to see if I could get better results cloning my tomato cuttings using four different methods. One was to leave the cut ends alone. Second was to dip the cut ends into honey. Third, I used a rooting gel. And fourth, I used cinnamon. I filled four jars with the same filtered water and then labeled this jar as the control since I won't be doing anything to the cuttings that go in here. And in this jar, I'm going to dip the ends of the cuttings in honey. So it's labeled honey. And then in this jar, I'm going to dip the ends in Clonex, which is a rooting gel. And then for this jar, I'm going to dip the ends in cinnamon. And let's see which cuttings do the best. Here's the bottle of Clonex. I've never used this before. If you peel back the label, you'll see more information. It's a gel and it says you can use it on all sorts of cuttings. So let's see what happens. Here I have a bunch of cuttings and oh, they smell so good. And I'm gonna trim them a bit and get them so that they are equally sized pieces spread between the different jars. Now I have four bundles. They are about equally sized and I have four cuttings in each bundle. There's no way to get them all exactly the same, but I think they're close enough. This jar will be the control, so the cuttings go straight into the water. Just so you know, I cut all the stems with a very sharp, sterilized pair of scissors at a 45 degree angle, just so you know. And now for the honey, I dipped all the cut ends in honey, a generous amount, who wouldn't like that, and then put them in the jar of water. Honey is supposed to have antibacterial and antifungal properties, so it's all good. Next the cinnamon, and here I wasted a lot, but the cut ends got a good coating. Cinnamon is another age-old method of treating the cut ends of plants. Cinnamon is said to also have antifungal properties, and it helps to encourage the stem to produce more roots. And finally, we have Clonex, I dipped all the cut ends into the gel and also smeared some on the stems according to the directions and into the water they all go. Here are all the cuttings. The ones I dipped in cinnamon turned the water a little brown and the Clonex ones turned the water a little purple. And so now we wait and see what happens. Here we are one week later and let's see what we have. First the control. I didn't dip these cuttings into anything and I don't see anything growing. Now let's take a look at the cuttings I dipped in honey and you can see one of the cuttings has developed some roots. What about the cinnamon? Yes, some roots are developing on those cuttings as well. And the Clonex, let's have a look and nothing. Let's visit these cuttings again in a couple of days and see what happens. But the verdict for week one is one point to the honey, one point to the cinnamon, and zero to the control, and zero to the Clonex, which actually surprised me. Okay, it's three days later, so these cuttings have had ten days to do something, and let's see what they're doing. The control cuttings haven't grown any roots, and neither have the cuttings in Clonex, but the cinnamon cuttings are still growing roots, and so are the cuttings that I dipped in honey. So, so far, it's the cinnamon and honey that are the winners. Sweet! All right, it's two weeks since I set up this experiment, and let's have a look. The control cuttings have some roots. That's nice. And now let's look at the cuttings dipped in honey. Also, we have some nice roots here. Notice some of the cuttings produce roots and some didn't. That's why I set up four cuttings for each method, so at least one of the cuttings should have rooted in each of the jars. Let's have a look at the cuttings I dipped in cinnamon, and you can see some rooting here as well. And finally, let's have a look at the cuttings dipped in Clonex. Very strange, not a single one of the cuttings show any sign of producing roots. And now it's a couple days later and I've kept just the best looking cuttings in each jar. This one is the control and this one is the honey 
and you can see how many more roots the honey cutting has compared with the control. And then the cinnamon also has a nice bunch of roots. And then the Clonex. Here I kept all four cuttings hoping at least one of them would put out roots, but they never did. That was an interesting finding. If I were to guess ahead of time, I would have guessed the Clonex would do the best. It costs enough and it claims to work, but actually the honey and cinnamon were the best. These cuttings are going into my grow bags on the deck, so I'll have some nice tomatoes from these as well as the mother plants that are still producing in the garden. So if you want to clone your tomato plants, take a bunch of cuttings, dip them in either honey or cinnamon, and then put them in water. Or don't dip them, but I had better results with the honey and cinnamon, although the control cuttings also rooted. Tomatoes are one of the easiest plants to clone, and you can clone the plants over and over again, meaning you can get clones from the clones. Mother Nature just keeps on giving when it comes to tomato plants. So go ahead and start cloning, and thanks for watching. Bye!